Have you ever sat behind the wheel of your car, placed your foot on the brake pedal, and wondered why it's textured? That crisscrossed, dotted, or ribbed pattern isn't just there for looks. It's not some random design feature or an aesthetic choice made by the manufacturer. In fact, that seemingly simple pattern plays a vital role in keeping you safe every time you drive. Whether you're cruising down the highway, navigating stop-and-go traffic, or slamming on the brakes in an emergency, that texture is doing a lot more work than you might think. In this video, we're going to break down the real reason brake pedals are textured, what those patterns do, and why this little design detail is more important than it seems at first glance, right here on History of Simple Things. The primary purpose of the textured pattern on brake pedals is traction. When you're driving, your feet are in constant motion, moving between the gas pedal and the brake, adjusting for speed, road conditions, and unexpected situations. The last thing you want in a high-stress moment is for your foot to slip off the brake pedal. Imagine you're driving in the rain. Your shoe might be wet. Your floor mat could be damp and that moisture can transfer onto the brake pedal surface. Without any texture to create friction, your shoe could easily slide, causing a delay in braking, or worse, a complete failure to apply enough pressure. That fraction of a second can be the difference between a close call and a collision. The textured pattern whether it's ridges, bumps, or a rubberized grid, helps create that much-needed grip between your shoe sole and the pedal surface. It increases the surface area and resistance between the two, giving your foot something to bite into. This tactile feedback not only helps prevent slips, but also enhances your control over the vehicle. You can modulate the brake more precisely because your foot feels stable and anchored, even under pressure. Think of it like cleats on a football field. Just as those spikes give athletes better traction and control on the turf, the brake pedal's texture does the same for your foot on the pedal. Brake pedals are typically made of metal for strength and durability, but bare metal alone is a poor choice for traction especially when exposed to water, oil, dirt, or mud. To combat this, most manufacturers add a rubber pad over the metal or mold patterns directly into the pedal surface. The rubber not only increases grip, but it also adds a layer of comfort and shock absorption. On some performance or racing vehicles, the pedals might be metal with perforations or knurled surfaces instead of rubber. These designs are aimed at drivers who want maximum feedback and a firm, non-flexing pedal feel, even at high speeds. Regardless of material, the core idea remains the same. Provide a consistent slip-resistant surface that improves safety and control. Different manufacturers use different patterns too. Some opt for horizontal or diagonal grooves, Others use raised dots, a diamond pattern, or even a crisscross design. These aren't just stylistic choices. Engineers test various configurations to see what performs best in real-world conditions. The ideal pattern offers grip in multiple directions, upward, downward, sideways, so that no matter how your foot approaches the pedal, there's always resistance to slipping. This is especially important in emergencies when the movement of your foot might be quick and less precise. The texture compensates for that lack of precision and helps ensure the brake still gets applied when needed. Beyond traction, there's also an ergonomic aspect to textured brake pedals. The pattern provides a tactile reference point that drivers may not even consciously register. It lets you know you're on the brake pedal and not the gas, an especially important distinction in low visibility conditions like nighttime driving or when wearing unfamiliar footwear. 
For new drivers or those in rental or shared vehicles, this kind of feedback can be particularly helpful. It's a small detail that reinforces muscle memory and reduces uncertainty. Over time, your brain and foot work together based on this feedback, improving your reaction time and confidence behind the wheel. There's also a psychological component. Feeling that texture underfoot gives a subtle sense of security. You might not think about it consciously, but your body registers the stability and responds with calmness and readiness. Compare that to a slick, flat pedal surface. Your brain immediately senses potential danger, even if everything else feels fine. That instinctual alertness can lead to tension or hesitation, which are never helpful during critical driving moments. Interestingly, there are no strict universal laws that dictate exactly how a brake pedal must be textured. However, most vehicle safety standards across the globe, whether it's from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration or NHTSA in the US, the European Union's vehicle safety directives or Japanese transport regulations, all emphasize brake system reliability and driver control. While the texture itself isn't legislated, manufacturers include it as part of broader compliance with safety norms, industry best practices, and consumer expectations. It's one of those elements where practicality, engineering, and user experience come together naturally. So the next time you get into your car and press your foot onto the brake pedal, Take a moment to appreciate that textured surface. It's not there for decoration, and it's not a leftover design from decades past. It's a crucial feature that helps keep you safe by ensuring your foot stays exactly where it needs to be, firmly planted on the brake when it matters most. In the world of automotive safety, sometimes it's the smallest, simplest features that make the biggest difference. From engineers to everyday drivers, we all benefit from this thoughtful little detail hiding in plain sight. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.